Uh, hi, this is Don MacArthur of the Windsor Star. We're on the scene of an overnight fire in the 1200 block of uh, Drewlard Road uh, with acting uh, District Chief uh, Terry uh, Gifford. Can you tell us uh, what happened overnight here? Yeah, at about uh, 1.30 this morning, our crews received a call to the 1200 block of Drewlard. Uh, the initial crews from Walker Road uh, encountered very dense uh, gray smoke. Um, it actually was covering the whole neighborhood. It was uh, emitting from every window and door, the eaves and everything. Uh, initially, they tried to force entry into the building. It was a, a closed up structure secured and uh, very strongly secured. They had a, a, quite a time to open up the doors. At the same time, another crew went to the roof to ventilate the roof. We do that to let a lot of the hot air, uh, hot gases escape to make entry better. Um, then as we upgraded, more engines came. We had engines from uh, Headquarters, Station 3, Station 6. Uh, we had a good chunk of the city here. And uh, they did gain entry. Uh, it was too hot and too involved. We started getting collapses into the structure. Once we started getting uh, collapses, we brought the crews out. While they were inside, that's what we call offensive operations. Yeah. So we're offensively attacking the fire from inside the structure. Uh, once it got too bad, I withdrew the crews and we started fighting the fire from outside, which is more defensive operations. Um, most of the structure collapsed in upon itself. Uh, and then we had aerial towers, uh, much like the one you see there behind me, yeah. uh, set up and we were starting to hit it from above. The problem with once you get a defensive fire with collapses is the collapse part protects the fire from your hose frames, okay. which slows down the process quite a bit. So they're going to be here hosing it down for a while, I trust? I would think. Uh, probably as the morning creeps along, we'll get a backhoe in here, and it'll work in conjunction with the fire crew, the backhoe, and the investigators. Okay, now, yeah, this thing's under investigation. Fires don't tend to just break out. Anything suspicious yeah. so far? Or? At this stage of the game, no. Um, we, we can't say that for sure. Uh, it's way too early in the game to be like that. Okay. And any injuries? And obviously not. That we would have heard about that. I would. Think. Uh, yeah. We had two firefighters sent to the hospital. Uh, they both returned to a full duty since, and uh, one was treated on scene. One or, or possibly two. I, I think it's one that was treated on scene. Okay. Do we know? Is this a vacant building or what? Uh... I believe it's uh, vacant and boarded up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything We're else? Secure. Oh, is it good? Uh, I think the crew did a, a very good job. We. As you can see in your camera, we have a, a structure not four feet away from it. And as this building, as the flames are shooting out the top of the building, uh, our crews made a very good stop of uh, containing this fire to the uh, building of origin. Very right. good job. Thank you very much. Okay.